Hey, so sometimes it can be hard to understand where Jesus was coming from without looking at the context. So this is uh, one of those passages. We're looking at uh, Matthew 8. So he was talking about how foxes have holes, birds have, birds of the air have nests, and the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. And then uh, another one of his disciples said to him uh, when he was calling them, uh, Lord, first let me go bury my father. And Jesus said to him, follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. So this can make Jesus seem like he's being a little harsh, like let the dead go bury their own dead. Isn't it important to mourn? And we responded, of course, it's important to mourn. The context of this is that they used to have these boxes that after the dead were buried, they would have mourning periods of a week, of a month, of 11 months, because they didn't want to mourn for a year and say, wow, it took us a year to do that. Um, but they would gather the bones up and they would put them into these ossuaries. And the man was so focused on, I have to take care of the dead. I, I have father that passed away, and again, it's good to mourn. Jesus wept, he showed compassion, but he was saying, you, you don't need to stay here, you're not getting it. You, you don't take care of the dead, right? You don't need to go through these human rituals. I take care of that. Ezekiel 37, dry bones coming to life. Job talking about, in my flesh, I will see God. In Philippians 3, that we're gonna be giving new bodies, right? We're not Gnostics, we're not these that hate the flesh. God created the flesh. He's just restoring his creation. And so we put our faith not in taking care of the dead and what we can do, but ultimately that he's going to take care of us and give us new bodies and we'll be resurrected and be with him forever.